Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Flathead Syndrome, Plagiocephaly in Babies, What to Expect It is common for a baby's head to become misshapen during birth because it is not fully developed. This is called plagiocephaly and is quite common. Plagiocephaly appears as a flattened surface on the back or side of the baby's head. It can negatively affect the alignment of the ears, jaws and eyes in severe cases, but usually disappears by the time the baby starts to sit up. However, there has been no indication that plagiocephaly is responsible for causing problems in a child's growth and development. What causes flat head syndrome? Premature births, multiple births, small uterus, torticollis, carriers, bouncy seats, car seats and swings where the baby's head could be pressed up against something. Signs and symptoms of plagiocephaly. The front, side or back of the baby's head could seem flattened. A bald spot is seen in the affected area. The head will appear misshapen or perhaps even slanted. The ears will be uneven. Will plagiocephaly affect my baby's brain development? So far, most doctors say that there is no connection between plagiocephaly and brain damage. It affects how the skull is shaped. And if it is accompanied by torticollis, there may be some impairment in the movement, but these can be fixed through therapy. Treatment for flat head syndrome in infants. The doctors will decide on a treatment method depending on your baby's age and how severe the case is. How to prevent plagiocephaly. Keep changing the position of the baby pillow to prevent a flat head by changing the direction in which your baby lays her head. When your baby is awake, try giving her more activities when she is on her tummy. Carrying your child, cuddling and hugging your child to reduce the pressure on your baby's head can also work. The shape of your baby's head should become normal by two months of age. And if it is still not, medical intervention is necessary.